Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'll discuss my NAPIT assessment which I have just had this morning and I passed right on for another year very pleased so what happened well as I discussed in uh, the NAPIT assessment video that I did which I will put a link on um, Obviously, uh, the assessor was more than happy with all the, uh, the paperwork that I had, so that was all fine. So then we went off to the uh, site visit, we did the one rather than doing the two. Um, combined this one with the uh, EICR and EIC, the garage um, wiring for the, uh, for the forest that I, I did a little while ago. And um, basically when we got there, the, uh, the assessor wanted me to go through why we were there. Uh, and we covered the inspection side of things first of the assessment. So I went through why the assessment was called for uh, and uh, basically went through what I had found and what I felt the EIC had failed on, EICR had failed on, sorry. And he agreed, absolutely agreed with all the findings that I found and agreed with all the remedial work that I had planned, which will be starting in a few weeks. So there'll be a video for that, so watch for that one. So we went on then to the actual installation itself. So I described what I'd done um, and why it was done, and then we went off to the uh, to the garage and effectively repeated the tests um, that I'd done for the EIC. So he could actually see me do all the tests, which is the safe isolation, and then go through the other tests that were on the test sheet um, and describing a few extra little bits and pieces uh, uh, and so on. And he was more than happy with all of that. He was happy with the installation, uh, bar a couple of points, which I'm going to be honest about. He did advise, and it's perfectly fair, um, that uh, maybe shifting the location of the RCD protection from the house to the garage would be a good idea, and I absolutely agree with that. And now that the isolator in the house is now there, that will mean, mean I can do that in a much simpler fashion now. And, probably get a Henley block in and split it all off. I'll probably do that when I'm replacing the tails anyway, uh, that need replacing in the uh, in the consumer port. If you ever look at the EICR video for this, uh, you'll see what I mean. So that was the first observation. Um, secondly, because at some point in the future there's going to be uh, electronic equipment uh, out in the garage, um, he's recommended I put an SPD in, um, that's fair enough. And I've mentioned that to the client right already, and they're, they're quite happy with that. So that might well be just uh, might be something I'll do in the future. Uh, the last observation uh, were the fact that I put um, plastic clips on, on the roof of the garage to the light fitting. Um, he suggested that really they should be metal, and I know that caused a lot of comments in the in the original video as to whether they should be plastic or metal. Um, he suggested that they ought to be metal, so I will retrospectively do that uh, when I go back to see the client uh, next week and get those put in. But at the end of the day, all fine, all passed. Uh, he was more than happy with the work that I'd done for that job, more than happy with, that I knew what I was doing, happy with the test results, um, happy with all the EICR stuff, so I'm they're chuffed, so another year's assessment all, all done and dusted. So I just want to, uh, coming up will be uh, an, an EIC uh, video for this particular installation, so I'll go through the paperwork for that. Um, then next week, as I said, uh, I'll be finishing the EICR, which I couldn't finish because of this. Um, and then I'll do a video on the EICR paperwork as well. Um, and that'll complete this all off um, so yeah I'm dead yeah, I'm dead pleased um, if anyone else is down, coming up on their assessment good luck um, I hope it all goes well for you all and uh, nice and short this video I just wanted to update it so and we'll see you on the next one